Right, we're going to have a look at times tables with decimals. Now, people look at times tables with decimals and they sometimes think, oh, this is going to be a nightmare, but I'm going to show you how easy it actually is. So my success criteria for this is, first of all, like all um, other times when you use decimals, just forget them. Forget the decimals at the start. Then multiply the answers. Then in your head, think how many decimal places are in the question, in the whole question. And then, basically, that's how many decimal places you need in your answer. So forget the decimals. Do the multiplication. How many decimal places in the question? And then that's how many decimal places you're going to need for your answer. So let's have a go at a couple. So this one here, 0 0.6 times 4. So first thing, forget about decimals. Hide it. If I do 6 times 4, my answer's 24. Easy. Then I look at the question. How many decimal places are in my answer? So how many numbers are after the decimal? I've got one here. So that means that my answer I have to have one decimal place as well. So just pop in the decimal. So my answer to 0 0.6 times 4 is actually 2.4. Easy. So I've got another one. 0 0.9 times 0 0.4. Again, it looks tricky. Let's forget the decimals. 9 times 4. 9 times 4 is 36. Now, how many decimal places are in the whole question? I've got one here, one here. So all together in my answer, I've got two decimal places. So in my question, I have to have two numbers after the decimal. So in that case, I'll rub this out, it will be 0 0.36. So I've got one number here, one number here, which gives me the two decimal places, which then links into the two decimal places in the answer. Okay, simple. Let's try one more. This one. Again, exact same thing, forget about decimals. So this one is a have a go. So 0 0.03 times 0 0.7. So remember, forget about decimals, do it. How many decimal places are in the question? That's how many you need in the answer. So have a little go, pause this, I'll go through it in three seconds. So three, two, one. So 0 0.3 times 0, sorry, 0 0.03 times 0 0.7. So forget about decimals, so I'm just going to go 3 times 7. 3 times 7 is 21. Then, how many numbers have I got after decimals? I've got 2 here, and I've got 1 here. So all together I've got 3. So in this number, there's actually only 2 numbers that I can put after decimal. So in this case, I have to add an extra 0. Put a decimal point, and now 0. So, I've got this 2, add the 3, so I've got 3 decimal places. And in this, I've got my three decimal places. So my answer is 0 0.021. Okay.